one of the things that a lot of people especially in the christian world people find it hard to talk about is mental health mm. they're like you know uh you know you're not trusting god enough you mm. know you 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 should be more strong and mm. things like that and these are some things that people say and it really irritates me a lot yeah. especially because if somebody is not feeling well you say oh let me pray for you take care of you mm. but if somebody is not well in their mind yeah. you're like uh, rebuking them yeah, and yeah. Uh, casting saying out the <laughs> demons, the demons yeah. in them yeah. and uh, you know stuff like that so yeah. uh, you know you are into mental health you are also a counselor you know and being a christian counselor mm. there's can you uh, give a few words about the reality of mental health and uh, to bring that awareness among christians that okay. is lacking i'm so glad we're talking about these things thank you for you know bringing this topic as well because i think the more we have conversations about it the more we are able to uh, eliminate the mystery or the stigma around it and actually understand it for what it is mm. uh i think for me i could not avoid this because like i said when my dad left everything changed and there was so much that we went through uh, which we didn't have any help to deal with mm. at that time i mean this was in this was many many years back <laughs> and at that time there was so much stigma associated with this whole thing even in even in the non christian world and uh, you know so i think that's that for me started off this whole journey of anger and depression and uh, i was very suicidal as well at one point and 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 there was no proper help to go through this either i was like oh i'm demon possessed i need uh, someone to you know but then i was so I mean I was so aware of it and I was so ashamed of what I was going mm-hmm. through. I thought I was literally the only Christian going through this because mm-hmm. everyone seemed great on the outside. <laughs> everyone was like praising and smiling mm-hmm. and I didn't know that the enemy was using the same lies and the same kind of battles in the mind. And so there was a spiritual element to this struggle for sure, right? There's always a spiritual element. And so I'm I'm so glad that uh, there's different people there's different spaces integrating you know uh, theology integrating god and psychology because for me it was that process of looking at my struggle through the word of god mm. and I also took up psychology because I was just drawn towards understanding people understanding how mm. why our brains work like that I myself I'm a very complex <laughs> mind so to understand myself also and i think that journey right helped me um see psychology through the lens of god's word mm. of who god has made us to be god's design for our minds and at the same time i think it's so important to understand the science mm. to understand uh you know uh, the neuroscience the way our brain works right we there is a physical component to mental health as well right mm. if if you find it too abstract or too whoa what is this you know we study our brain uh, the, uh, as part of the body but we also study our brain as part of the mind and so i think what uh, we need to understand in the church is that god desires wholeness for us right mm. in our body in our mind in our spirit in our soul and we are not just a spirit but we also have a mind we also have a body so a lot of christians also believe that we shouldn't take medicine so we mm. shouldn't do anything for our but i believe god wants holistic wholeness and wellness for us he wants us to prosper 3 john 2 says mm. um, you know beloved i pray that you prosper in every way even as your soul prospers and i think that's the foundation and root of it like god mm. is the source of our healing and our wellness and our wholeness and i believe that we can't have true wholeness without god because he's the only one who gets right to the depth <laughs> and the root right and at the same time uh, i think we need to make use of the wisdom the knowledge the understanding that we have through science through all of these people doing amazing work and research whether they're christian or not uh because we can learn so much from mm. you know one another and so so yeah i'm not a qualified therapist uh but i am i have been in psychology for since i was in the 11th and 12th and uh for me because of this personal journey I think I've had that, that opportunity to really wrestle with these things to really, really mm. understand uh, you know and ask all of these questions you know how much of this is is this demonic is mm. this uh, good is this from god and I do believe we need wisdom and discernment mm. uh 
but we need to start talking about these things honestly because like you said it's so frustrating when you have a real problem there's no solution anyone's giving you mm. but they're giving you unnecessary advice or help that uh, mm-hmm. you just need to pray more just are you sure you fasted enough you know <laughs> like oh, okay thank you <laughs> yeah so um, yeah like you said you know this is a very a uh, tricky part yeah. because sometimes when you go for help people only say that you're not prayed enough or yeah. you're not strong in god but but sometimes you know even in the scripture people did go through things you know whether it's elijah the mighty prophet he brought down rain and fire from heaven next minute he was in the wilderness yeah. he was in a uh, depression jona yeah. at one point he said i want to die he yeah. went to that suicidal depression uh who's <laughs> the other one who uh Uh, the apostle paul in corinthians he said mm. things were so bad i wanted to end my life mm. and we keep saying about job saying that job was saying uh, you know blessed be the name of the lord but that was in chapter 2 <laughs> but but then in chapter 3 he said he you know his, curse yeah. be the day i'm born yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know stuff like that so you know they all did go yeah. through this you yeah. know it's not just you or it's just uh, some people have said this you know you're a pastor and you you know i've gone through suicidal yeah. uh, yeah. you know depression myself like I, i i'll tell you there are there are different sides to this mm. see one is the mental aspect but there's also the spiritual aspect for sure because yeah. uh, you know either the enemy attacks you physically or yeah. he attacks you in the uh, mentally also i've also yeah. had uh, demonic encounters yeah. uh, the demonic things and sometimes when i'm walking on the road the you know the the, the yeah. enemy just wants to push me to end my life and yeah. no i've yeah. seen that i i and i know like when i go through those swings of depression and mm. all of those things i think in the last four years i think the cycles of depression increased even more and i just started uh battling even more mm. and then i started slowly coming out of it but mm. but but that's the truth it's uh, people were saying you know you're not praying enough you you're not fit to mm. be a preacher mm. and all of these mm. things but then i'm open to share about it because i want wow. people to be blessed through that mm. like you said uh yes it's ultimately god who heals but yeah. you know the lord was reminding me while you were sharing in second uh kings chapter 20 when uh, king ezekai was about to die uh god gives the gave the word saying you're going to live for 15 more years yeah. but he also gave another command that people don't uh remember mm-hmm. much and that is you know he said go and take these leaves i think Correct. fig leaves or something yeah. and <laughs> put it on the boil and you'll be healed Correct. so god yes god is the ultimate healer but sometimes god also uses means like this yeah. god is the one who heals god is yeah. the one who said that you know you're source. healed yeah. but he yeah. used that fig leaves it's not that yeah. fig leaves are any power at that point but you know that's why uh you know maybe sometimes god uses therapy god uses uh counseling god uses um, you know certain things that you can yeah. do hey i hope you were blessed by this video and i really encourage you to subscribe to this channel to get more such content which will bless you edify you and help you live the life that god has for you as well i also encourage you to check out my daily podcast fuel for the soul with john gifta By the grace of God it's been trending across the globe making an impact for the kingdom of God to check out my books especially my latest one Unveil Your Purpose which became a number one new release on Amazon to stay plugged in through a social media for regular inspirations on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter to check out the weekly podcast where my messages get dubbed into Tamil you can get more details at www.johngifta.com and also if you have been blessed by this ministry and you would like more people to be blessed by the ministry i encourage you to support us financially if you're in india you can support us through google pay or net banking or if you're anywhere around the world you can support us through paypal and all the details are in the description and i hope you were blessed and you would stay plugged in and i will see you back next time god bless you